hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome thanks for watching y'all listen this little sexy mofo right here is everything i feel like i say that about a lot of bags <laughs> but i mean when you a bag addict like i'm a bag addict you get it so this is the coach cassie 19. i remember about a year ago i wanted the chalk one but i was scared if i wore a crossbody i was gonna ruin it so i never got it even though i knew it came with multiple strap options so that i never had to actually wear it crossbody i just never pulled the trigger recently i pulled the trigger and coach screwed up my order they sent me the wrong bag I ordered this one as well but the chalk one never made it to me so I'm still deciding if I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one or not I've been very trigger happy lately <laughs> pulling a trigger on quite a few things um, but this one is so 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 pretty y'all so this is what people are saying is like a Tiffany blue color um, it is a coach retail bag I did order it online using um, Rakuten the day I saw it and added to card I was really on the fence I didn't own a 19 I wasn't sure if I should get it so I kind of thought about it overnight and y'all know how Rakuten do the very next day it was no longer the 15% cash back for coach but it was for Macy's so this one actually came from Macy's and not the coach retail boutique however it was still both places it's 295 full price um but i did miss the what is it the um trying to blank here the 25 percent off that coach was running but i did get it while macy's was running it in addition to the racket tent. so anyway i picked up this t rose charm from the coach um boutique website i put it on the side here i did leave the short handle strap that it comes with on here and then i also added the chain strap that it comes with i took off the crossbody i've worn it um twice now i wore it to the movies fast and the furious 10 is bomb if you haven't seen it go um and then i wore it to the um hair salon this morning to get my hair straightened so this is how she looks from the side and then how she looks from the back she is basically like the louis vuitton pochette matisse or the coach cassie but this is the smaller size so this is the 19 size so as you can see she is spread out um pretty good so that you know you can put your things in it and she can definitely hold quite a bit this back pocket is very substantial it does hold a phone just fine this is my iphone 12 with my hello kitty um case on it so it's not currently in the bag it does have the mirror on the back i love this one um i had it in my pack, back pocket for the most part because i just pull it out so much but it does fit in here just fine it doesn't slip like super easy because of course i got the bag stuff so you do have to push a little bit however as far as the spacing it's totally doable you totally can get your phone in and out of it um with no problem so just wanted to show you guys that i've watched a couple videos where people have the phone larger than mine they have like the 13 they have like the 14 and they still fit it in here so just heads up on that so now i'm going to show you guys what is in the inside and um mom ambition and i are doing this video as a collab so definitely run over to her channel if you're new here and you've never watched her you absolutely should i love her content she has such a sweetheart so definitely go over and check out her what's in my bag on this beauty as well because we are collabing on this video together so let me show you guys what i have inside on the front you do have the beautiful c turn lock opening so you just turn it like so and make it um, horizontal and then the bag opens easily the inside is also that beautiful color as i stated this color is very close and similar to tiffany blue but it's called faded blue um so it has the three compartments just like the original cassie this is an overview let me get completely in frame of how i have her packed i am spread out again uh, against i'm <laughs> spread out amongst a couple of bags right now so as you can see in the front here we've got some pink and yellow um, because i was in my pink lemonade so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything that's in here so in this front pocket as you can see there is a lip balm here this one is a super cute one i got from tj maxx with the pink and yellow roses on it the scent is coconut and it's just like um it's a lip balm but it rolls up like a chapstick so it looks like so love this oops i didn't get the top to stay on next i have my airpods i try not to go anywhere without these you just never know so these are um, my regular you know og airpods and i just have them in this yellow case like i said the other purse i'm in is pink and yellow um so that's the reason for this beautiful pink strap which is from sheen and then the yellow airpod case 
Also in that front pocket, I have a hair tie because I went to the salon with my hair in a ponytail, all curly and crazy, in need of a wash, <laughs> and got it straightened this morning. I know I normally pop out my black Emprunt, um Louis Vuitton key holder, but this is my Damier Abine six key holder with the rose ballerine color, um, a rose poudre. I'm not sure which one it was originally called since it's no longer on the site. I did get mine pre-loved off the pre-love market a long time ago. <laughs> Um, but I, uh, we were in hubby's car, we went to the movies and then I took hubby's car to the hair salon this morning. So it was just easier to take this one. I do keep, um, his key separate from mine because both of these fobs are big and I'm not about that big keychain ball life anymore <laughs> like mine in these key holders so i did purchase this one a while back to keep his keys in and whenever we go out of town i take both and just put the one you know the car we're in um at the time in my purse and the other one in luggage and then you know when we're home i take whichever one we're going to be in so i did move my license um, my carry license, my driver's license, and my emergency card over into the back pocket like I normally do. So these are my keys. And then, of course, house key um, is in here. So six key holder. And then that front pocket is empty. It is, as you can see on the side, it is gusseted just like the Cassie um, original size and the Pochette Matisse. So you can easily fit whatever you need in there. And this middle pocket, I just have essentials. And when I go small and compact like this, I usually just pack essentials. So I just have a champagne toast lotion from Bath & Body Works. Y'all know I love the super small travel size. I try not to ever carry a lotion larger than that. I've got the Juvia's Place lip gloss that I love and that Ruby Rose, super pretty on. Looks kind of orangey in that tube I don't know why but it's pretty on this is another sheen find I got recently um I know everybody's kind of been grabbing that touch land hand sanitizer to kind of get the slim one but I wanted something even slimmer and I found these on sheen it came in a three pack it was like clear I think baby pink and hot pink wish there was a purple y'all already know but hey I'll take it so I got the clear and then I did find one of those like touch land size um ones in Layla purple so I did purchase that as well but I used this one this time since it's so thin so I just actually have some Bath and Body Works um hand sanitizer spray in here I want to say it's the strawberry pound cake so that came in handy at the movies and then lastly in that pocket is my wallet I did pick up the matching wind wallet to go with the bag it is faded blue when you put them next to each other they look the same color but of course it's two different textures um, they like usually like to do their wallets in that cross grain leather and the bag is actually pebbled leather I would have loved if this was pebbled I have just fallen head over heels for pebbled leather it's just a crazy crazy thing for me I remember when I didn't like pebbled leather but anyway let me sorry guys let me vibrate this because it is just chirping away my bag sisters are having a good convo without me right now. Um, but this is the wind wallet. I love how they chose to do the C on the front. I think it would have been cute either way, whether it was the matching hardware in the color silver or this, but I actually really like how that blends very nicely with this. So as you know, with the wind wallet tucked in the front, you can put your main card and then on the inside, you can put whatever cards you need. You have three on both sides. You can double up. These two parts also open on both sides. And I have noticed, or maybe it's just me, I'm overlooking it, but but I've noticed that when I watch people go into their wind wallet or explain it, no one ever talks about the hidden pocket back here. So I don't know if people don't know about it. They've never opened it, but I love this spot. I've always stuck my insurance card in here. I do have two other wind wallets, um, the signature rust, and then I have the signature rust with the black and rivets um, that matches my Coach Parker bag that I got from the boutique years ago. Um, so this is my third wind wallet, but I've always tucked my insurance card back there. I love that little pocket. So if you're watching this video and you do not know your wallet, Open back there, sis. You missing out. Open it. So cash section here, as y'all know, I usually don't have any in there. So that is the gist of the front of the wallet. And then on the back, you do have the zipper with the cross grain leather zipper pull. And inside I do have the coins. So I do have my coins in there. I love how compact this is. The wind wallet to me is, it's almost like a little bit smaller. Um, and I might do a comparison video one day. I think that'll be fun. Um, comparing this to the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. And of course the card slots go differently and some you know openings are different, but I think these two are very comparable to each other but this one is a lot smaller and for me even with all your cards in it it's still a lot thinner so this one works great in a small bag if you want a larger wallet and not just a card holder so that middle section is empty there's no slip pocket on this side like there is in um, the regular size Cassie but then you do have the zip pocket and uh oh I forgot to pull the little new paper out of there in the um 
In the zip pocket, I chose to put my lady products, which is what I usually do if I'm in a smaller bag. So um, luckily, I don't just have my liners loose anymore. I do have that sheen pouch that I showed in the last couple what's in my bags. I got this one off sheen. It's just a larger size snap um, pouch. Do I have another one to compare? I don't, but I think I've shown another video. So this one's a little bigger than the card holder size that we're putting like extra cards, gift cards, business cards in. This one's a little larger. So it works perfect for the two size panty liners that I wear when I do um, wear a liner. Also in that pocket, I have tissues in case the bathroom was out. And I have two lady wipes because, you know, sometimes Mally wants to use one if he unfortunately gets stuck with the urge to go number two in public. TMI, but I'm just giving y'all the real deal. Then I just popped one Q-tip out of my um, traditional pack that I normally bring just so I'd had one, have one because I knew we were going to get popcorn and stuff. And I want to make sure if I needed it, I could use it. And then I just have a tiny um, sample perfume from Louis Vuitton that just has a little bit left in it. And I thought it made a perfect um, bathroom spray. So that's all that's in that small pocket. And then in the back section, you can put whatever you want. Most people put very small, slim things like receipts and coupons and things like that. Um, but I put some goodies in here to see how she would hold up. And she held up wonderfully. So tucked on this side, I have my tissue holder. Um, from the Novel Crown. I've said in a couple videos, if you haven't checked her out, please do. Um, but this is a tissue holder with a zipper on top. So inside the zipper, I have a couple cough drops and some candy. And then in the front, it's a magnetic closure and I have some tissues. I've had a little bit of sinus stuff going on. It hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, a couple days ago, it just kind of started in the evening after dinner out of nowhere. So I, I made sure to bring that tissue um, in my smaller bag. And then, of course, I have my two, which is the last two things in the bag. is my two OGs. I cannot go anywhere without. These are definite necessities. So a power bank for my cell phone and then my artificial tears for my re-wetting drops. Because you never know when your contacts are going to cut up or when, you know, I don't know, you're going to start crying in the movies. And then your contact is acting weird, which is so strange. I feel like if I cry my contacts should be well lubricated like they shouldn't need anything but i don't know they act up sometimes you know so in t ways this is my coach cassie 19 and these are all the goodies that i had in her um she was a great carry i'll be honest you guys i was very nervous i didn't know if i could downsize this small i didn't know if <laughs> it would be comfortable i've watched quite a few videos and they talk about the chain strap being very um substantial very weighted very heavy it is a it, you get what you pay for when you buy this bag this isn't an amazon chain this is a very substantial chain um and i saw a few videos Videos that talked about how this chain can dig into your shoulder or how it can be uncomfortable so I was really nervous about buying it um, but I did buy some other pieces that you can add on to this strap so I'm going to show you guys that in another video um, but I wore this by the chain strap and just kept the short one so I could, you know, lift it up quickly as a hand carry. Um, but I wore it by the chain strap on purpose because I wanted to see how it was, if it was comfortable before I pulled the trigger and buy the chalk color one. Y'all, I had the shoulder for this chain. It was comfortable. It did not feel like a chain. It did not feel like it was digging. The bag wasn't heavy with, you know, all of these things in it that I've shown. It was literally completely comfortable for me. Let me see if I can tilt this down some. Sorry, y'all. Ugh. I didn't want to make this video too too long since she's a small bag but it is what it is but I had all of these goodies in here and y'all know this power bank in itself is not super light sometimes your keys can be heavy the wallet can be heavy um some of these other things are not so so much I mean the airpods got a little bit but nothing major these things are pretty light um, but combined, especially with leather that's going to weigh something in itself, things can be heavy. But I was very pleasantly surprised um, how this actual chain strap worked out for me. It was very comfortable. So I am very happy with this purchase. This bag is so damn sexy. I know Mom Ambition is loving hers. I cannot wait to see her video. Sis, I'm sure you're going to kill it in your video. So I cannot wait to watch that. Um, thank you so much for wanting to do the collab with me. I know I miss wanting to do it with you with that um, toe patty, but I'm glad we both decided to pick up the coach cassie in the faded blue aka tiffany blue <laughs> and um i know that you're loving it so thanks so much for doing the video with me and i hope that you guys enjoy her video as much as you love mine i'm sure you will and thank you so much for watching my video and if you haven't subscribed and you keep returning and watching videos i don't know what you're waiting for you might as well join the sp fam you love it here we love it here come on and join us you know what i mean but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day bye